Hi guys, Mike the Gun Guy. Uh, sorry about the noise. Gunner has found his favorite plastic bottle play toys. Uh, but, so the other day a guy called me and uh, says, hey man, I need some help putting something up into the truck. And uh, I got over there and it is way more than two 50 some odd year old men can uh, can get up in the truck. He's like, well, I was going to use my game hoist, but I broke it. I said, you're what? He said, my game hoist, the little thing I use to lift stuff up in the air, like uh, deer and stuff, pigs, whatever. And uh, so he pulled this thing out, and it was a couple of cheap-ass pulleys that was made for something like 554, right? And uh, I was like, the hell did you pay for that? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I, I think I paid about 100 bucks for it, 80, 75, 100 bucks for it. Uh, which really upset me. So here you see my climbing gear or repelling gear, take your pick, uh, up or down. This bag usually runs on the side of it, but I took it off for the purpose of the video here. Uh, in here, I carry four things. You wouldn't even need to carry all four of these. So, these are repelling and recovery pulley systems. These are actually fabulous for a zip line if you want to build a zip line. The singles or the doubles. So, how these work with an actual rope. Gunner, you are killing me, dude. Hey. Later. Uh, how these work with an actual rope is... Uh, so, you're building uh, a standard snatch block pulley system, right? So... I'll have to demonstrate this lady later. I can actually do this with uh, one and a double and get three times mechanical, uh, three to one going. I can get a four to one going. I can get a two to one going. I can get whatever I need to get going. Uh, the other, <laughs> found another bottle. There's a lot of them around here. You're lucky you're cute. Anyway, uh, you can just use these to deflect. And I want everybody to understand. Standard Copenhagen can. These things are not that big. Uh, I carry all four. Now, the double blocks are obviously twice as wide. But you can run paracord around these if you're wanting to lift a deer. You can run uh, real rope around them, which is the important part. So they open up, which will allow you to run them. So run that one around there. I know the camera's moving. Sorry. This was just a quickie video. I wasn't really planning on doing it. Uh, until I looked up one of those game deals and saw what they actually cost. That's stupid. Absolutely stupid. Uh, so these are can be used in climbing when you're hoisting. You can hoist yourself with these things if you really want to. Uh, the other thing you want to be careful about is beaners when you're buying beaners if they aren't UIAA certified you shouldn't be buying carabiners with the plans on using any weight the I run 25 uh, kilonewtons as far as which has always been plenty when you see KN that's what it stands for is kilonewton uh, I, I, I run 25 KN uh, beaners all the time. 
uh, and they hold, they each kilonewtons like 225 pounds I think so they are uh, more than adequate for picking up anything that you would want to pick up uh, there is a snatch block that I could lift myself with if I needed to uh, I've just locked it off there that rope uh, it's probably a 10 millimeter rope without looking um, no, it's 11 millimeter rope. Uh, I can't remember how many kilonewtons that is. It's like, I think it's 3,000 pound rope. I'd have to look. I'm probably lying and somebody's going to go, 11 millimeter rope is, whatever. It's way more than I can break. Uh, with that rig right there, with a four to one snatch block ratio I could pick up I'm going to bet I could pick up a car I mean small part of one uh hung right I might be able to get a whole car I know I get a smart car uh we have picked up the uh the back of a pickup off the ground with it uh we've picked up all kinds of shit with this but this isn't actually what I wanted to show you. If, yes, with repelling rope, heavy repelling rope, you can do a lot. But, you could also take this back apart. If, so these things, these snatch blocks are... 30 18 kilonewtons max pull weight uh which I didn't even bring my phone 225 times 18 it's too early for me to do that math uh The moral of the story is they will hold way more than what 550 cord will, and they will easily hold a deer. But two of these, if you need the double gear or the four to one reduction, you can take these and easily put them in a pack. They don't weigh, I don't know weigh them with, they don't weigh a whole lot. Uh, like I said, you can get one of these little extra pouches. That's what I carry them and the singles in. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is these actually do work for uh, if you're a climber, you know that not just well. But uh, You can very, very quickly and simply and effectively run paracord around these same pulleys. And now I have a uh, an effective paracord, which <laughs> you are not going to break this. 
picking up something simple and stupid. Uh, you'll damn sure pick up any deer you're going to shoot. I don't care how good you think you are. Uh, or how big Buckzilla is this year. Uh, these things are like 30 bucks. Uh, they're not expensive. They make an aluminum set. I think these are probably Fusion. If I'm wrong. They are Fusion. Uh, which I don't even... If Amazon carries Fusion, I will, uh, I'll link them. I think they do. Uh, the big thing I've noticed about Amazon is uh, climbing beaners. So... And I'll put a link to some of the ones that I like to use. Uh, these are quick locks. You twist that deal and lock it. Uh, on my actual rope, I like a, uh, a good twist lock steel. This is solid steel. Those are aluminum. <laughs> They're still both 25 kilonewton. Uh, I have some 32s and some heavier stuff for my air assault days. Uh, we were, I, for, uh, when I went through narc assault with the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. Gunner, you're killing me. We were required to have uh, 30K, K in, or 35K in equipment as opposed to 25. Uh, let me see that right there. I got it. I don't know if you can. I can. 35 kilonewton. Uh, and I keep the 35 stuff around because it's, I mean, it's a good bit stronger. But when you see this 12 and 15 kilonewton, especially the beaners on, uh, on, uh, Amazon, don't buy that shit. Don't buy that shit to climb with. Uh, and really, to be completely honest with you, it is not worth buying it at all because the 25 kilonewton beaners don't, uh, they don't cost anymore. Now, they might be a buck or two more, but for what you get, uh, you'd be a fool not to buy good quality uh, carabiners and literally pay almost the same money for it. So all four of them, the singles and the doubles fit in that pack. Just easy. I always run a bunch of beaners on this. So this actually doesn't run. This doesn't hang out on that pack anymore. Uh, where it hangs out and it's uh because I haven't been doing all I, I leave it in my truck because you never know when you're going to need to uh, pull something so especially with a winch <laughs> this is these are actually pretty effective uh, so they are but that is, in a nutshell, here's the other banner. Everything you need to know about making a at-home uh, snatch block for, if nothing else, the same money that these game lifters cost. So you can do something with those. You know, these, the 35 kilonewton ones, or 32 or whatever they were, uh, those are legitimate, uh, I wish I brought my phone down here. Uh, huh, Android tablet, maybe it's still got power. Nope. Uh,
I have a pen to do the math with, whatever it is. Uh, twenty five times two hundred is Am I doing that right? Two, four, six, eight, one. That's five thousand pounds, right? At just two hundred pounds. Twenty five kilonewtons plus two anyway. Two, four, six, eight, one, five kilonewtons. It's a thousand pounds. So this would be fifty five hundred pounds. Uh that these will take. Just the beaners. Way more than one any piece of five fifty cords gonna take. And if you actually need to rescue a human being from something, you're not worried about you know your your stuff snapping. Uh or more to the point, your equipment given out. Another thing that are pretty cool, that are, these are handy, are uh, these little quick cam things. I love these things. These are, uh, and, I, and I grab these because I keep these in my pickup truck for tie-downs. They are so smooth. So, you pull it out here, you just pull it in and out, right? But when you pull it onto this cam... You pull it down, but you can't pull it back. These are, I mean, I have plastic ones. These are the plastic ones that I keep in my, uh, for setting up tents and stuff. These are metal ones. These are actually good for 700 pounds. This is max load 280, but in, uh, which would be more handy for most of your deer. Uh, but the brake strength on it's like 700 and some pounds. Uh, maybe it was six. Might have been eight. Anyway, that is... Uh, you know, the safe loads are always spectacularly lower than what their actual working loads are. Uh... The cam jams are probably one of my favorite tools, to be honest with you. They, uh, I keep them in the truck as opposed to ratchet straps. I don't ever carry, ra har hardly carry ratchet straps at all anymore. Uh, the ratchet straps I do have, I've replaced and used 550 cord as opposed to, uh, as opposed to the actual straps because it's replaceable, it binds tight. And I, I just I seem to have less trouble with them. Uh, meaning those little cheap Lowe's ratchet straps. And what I was able to do with 50, with paracord on them, you can cut them to the size you need and not feel bad about cutting your straps you just paid money for. So when somebody has a strap that's cut, and they're gonna throw it away. I'm like, ah, I'll take that ratchet, and I rebuild. I redo them with, uh, with paracord, or uh, and uh, these cam locks. Because honestly, you put one of these with a little knot on the other end of your paracord deal, you have a latch that you can run through a hook or whatever, right? And you never have you ever played. It's hooked on one side, and I go to get the other side, and in the meantime, that falls off. Well, with these cams, you just pull that up, pull the slack out of it, it stays there. And then you go to the other side and run the ratchet. It's pretty handy. Uh, but anyway, that's the deal. Uh, if uh, I'll find a set of these for Amazon... I, I must. I, I. I would think Amazon sells Fusion. God, they would have to. Uh, they sell everything else. But uh, yeah, get yourself uh, a bag. Any size will work. This is. I'm sure this is three B gear if it's mine. But uh, I'll put a link to those as well. I love three B gear. They are some of the best equipment in the world. Uh, packs and the whole nine yards. The, and uh, 
As always, I hope this helps somebody out. Like, share, subscribe, and stop stop spending money on them stupid game hoists. Get yourself some climbing gear that is made to handle real weight in real world situations. And because it doesn't weigh any more, it's not that much bigger. It doesn't cost that much more. Uh, but the the superiority of what you can do with it is quite honestly staggering. Uh, the other day he was trying to lift. He, what he, I guess what his plan was was to lift half of a 12,000 watt generator into the air. And then he was going to pick the other half up into the air and then have his wife drive the truck, back the truck underneath it. And uh, when that didn't work, because he got it dangling, I guess is the best way to put it, in the, uh, his little game pick -em up snatch block failed. And uh, bent the shit out of the wheels on that generator. Uh, I'd have been mad. But uh, that's not what it was made for. Uh, I took this climbing rope up there in knees, and we picked the whole thing up in the air, and he just backed underneath it, and we set it down in there, easy as pie. So, you know, good equipment matters. There's no reason to buy these stupid little um, game pick -em up things. Uh, even depending on how much... Uh, I'll go up, dummy. Depending on how much your deer weigh in your area, you might even be able to get away with just a single block. A pair of single blocks, which would give you a, a two-to-one. There's a three-to-one's probably enough, and you can run that in a three-to-one configuration. I'd, I'd do it all the time. Uh, so anyway, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helps somebody out.